Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. In this case is a new Beretta that you have not seen before. Now, the Beretta APX models became very popular out of the gate. A lot of people liked the full length slide serrations, the trigger, what it had to offer. This is a Centurion, but a year and a couple months ago, they came out with the A1, Breda APX A1 models. It's optic ready, has a few additional features, and people like that because the APX came optic ready. But then they came out with the APX Tactical, A1 Tactical, I should say, and that was met with high approval. OD green frame, suppressor height sights, threaded barrel, 4.8 inch threaded barrel. And that offers higher capacity and a very nice handgun. People were eating those up. They said, this gun is phenomenal. But what if you took this handgun right here and then you mated it with the APX A1 tactical model? What would you have? And that explains the new release from Beretta. So new, it's not even on their website yet. This is the first review that you have seen of this new handgun. And here it is. It is the Beretta APX A1 Compact Tactical. And you can see right here, it comes with two additional palm swells and a combination of three 15 round magazine in this hard case. But let's check this out. The Beretta APX A1 Compact Tactical does not have the 3.7 inch barrel that we see here. It is threaded. It's a four and a quarter inch barrel and it is optic ready. We'll also notice that it has suppressor height sights, both the rear and the front, both are serrated black. And if you look at that front sight, look at the way that just kind of bevels in. That those, These are high sights. Should be real easy to co-witness with a red dot. Or a green dot. A lot of people go with green dot. I like green dots, actually. But it's a very nice-looking handgun. I have spoken very highly of this. But to make it optic-ready with the threaded barrel, put an OD green frame on there. It still has the ambidextrous slide stop. Very nice trigger and 15 round magazines with additional palm swells, as I showed. Very sharp-looking handgun. They also made the slide a little shine to it, all right, and some deep cut serrations, both rear and front serrations. The trigger that a lot of people love with the APX models, that's the first thing I noticed when I first got introduced to the APXs. I said, that trigger is really nice. It's kind of flat trigger there, breaks right at five and a half pounds with the reset that is very short very audible too a lot of people like that it has a squared off trigger guard undercut right there with some texturing a two slot pick rail nice look to it and the mags are interchangeable with the Centurion, other APX models, they are interchangeable. So you get three 15 round magazines. Now, if you look at the APX A1 Tactical, the full size model, that's selling for right around 500 bucks. I don't have an MSRP on this. It's so new that I have to believe it's going to be right around the same cost. It remains modular. And I like the idea of a threaded barrel especially because i have a suppressor coming in okay we'll see we'll see when that comes in but you get everything that people love with the apx with some additional features like like that right there let's go ahead and get this on the scale here we have an unloaded apx a1 compact tactical we're looking at 28 and 5 8 ounces 16 rounds considering a carry round you're looking at 35 and 3 8 so approximately 35 and a half ounces with the new model we'll put this light back on check out that od green frame similar texturing okay you can see similar texturing with the front strap back strap looks similar still says apx under there the sights are certainly different and the slide serrations are different as well as well as the slide finish and then of course the barrel length modular similar trigger that i think is 
really nice. But let's go ahead and show the internals. Now to disassemble this, all I'm going to do is push this, keep the slide where it is, push this through, and then this lever here, I'm gonna push it downward. And you can see off comes the slide from the frame. Long frame rails. I think they did a good job with that. And then here we have a captive dual recoil spring, all steel guide rod. And then to take the barrel out, I'd have to take that thread cap off. I'm going to leave it where it's at. You can see the slide and internals are similar to the APX models that are or have become so popular. And then once you put this on, you don't even have to do much. You just rack that slide back. Well, almost, <laughs> that almost put it, but in most cases, all you have to do is rack it back really hard, and that'll put that lever in its rest position. I like the memory bumps throughout, all right, all throughout there. Put your finger there, put your thumb there. You have some additional texturing, but Beretta came out with this handgun, which is new. Like I mentioned, it's not even on their site yet. And this is the first review. I'm going to put an optic on here, sight this thing in, and take it to the range and see how it performs. I have raved about this. I have loved this gun. But this is an upgraded version for not, not a lot more money. If you're looking at $500 for this with optic ready, threaded barrel suppressor height sights, three magazines, a couple different palm swells to custom fit the hand size. I think it's a... Pretty good deal. A lot of people love the APX A1 tactical model. This is the compact tactical, and I think Beretta did a nice job. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it looks cool. I think it offers some modern features that shooters love, and I think it's going to perform excellent at the range. So be on the lookout for that range review. I can't wait. I'm just deciding on what optic I'm going to put on there because I do have a RMR plate for this that I'm going to put a hopefully a green dot but we'll see whatever the case I'm sure going to enjoy it and I think you should check it out you should be seeing this available within the next couple weeks if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe